Hello and welcome to Three Daughter TV. I am your host Vishakha Thakur. It's Monday, the first day of new week, and we are back with handpicked stories of deals sealed in the Web3 space, ranging from chip makers, startup financial services, Web3 gaming, metaverse, and blockchain technology services. Wasting no more time, we will check the first deal from Web3 space, and that talks about fundraising by chip maker from one of the Asian powerhouse, Samsung. Canadian startup Tenstorrent has raised $100 million from companies like Hyundai Motor Group, Samsung Investment Fund and Kia among other investors in order to rival Nvidia's dominance in supplying chips for artificial intelligence products like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Bard. The startup led by former Tesla employee Jim Keller has raised $234.5 million to date and is currently valued at around $1 billion. In the latest round of funding, Tenstorrent raised $30 million from Hyundai, $20 million from Kia and $50 million from Samsung's Catalyst Fund along with other investors like Fidelity Ventures, Eclipse Ventures, Epic Capital, Maverick Capital, etc. The recently secured funding is structured in the form of debt that would later be converted into equity. This essentially means the chipmaker will have to hold another round of equity funding to get the new valuation. Next deal to find place in tracking list is from the software space, video game developer in World AI has closed its latest funding round, bringing the company's total valuation to $500 million, the startup said on Wednesday. Earlier reports put the amount raised at $30 million, but a spokesperson for InWorld AI told Decrypt in an email the figure is actually over $50 million. The fundraising round was led by Lightspeed Venture Partners and included contributions from Stanford University, Samsung Next and Strategic Investors, Microsoft's M12 fund Eric Schmidt's First Spark Ventures and LG Technology Ventures. The primary focus of InWorld AI is its character engine, which uses artificial intelligence to create more interactive non-player characters in video games. InWorld AI's technology has already been used to create in-game mods for Skyrim, Stardew Valley and Grand Theft Auto V. InWorld AI says the latest round brings its total funding to $100 million, which will go towards research and development, hiring and infrastructure. Interesting insight from the first two deals here are both the firm's funding round was backed by South Korean electronics giant Samsung. The next deal is not far from South Korea, we are entering into Japan. Japanese blockchain developer Hashport has raised $8.5 million in a Series C funding round led by Subitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation, the University of Tokyo Edge Capital Partners and Japanese billionaire entrepreneur Yusaku Mezawa. The new round brings Hashport's total funding to $14.2 million. According to the July 28 announcement, the funds will allow Hashport to consolidate business and secure a compliance management system and related personnel to navigate the sophisticated global regulatory environment for its expansion. The Hashport ecosystem includes its namesake blockchain-related consulting and system solution in Japan and Hashpallet, a public chain specializing in non-fungible tokens. The company is also scheduled to launch a metaverse game dubbed The Land ELF Crossing in the fourth quarter. From blockchain deal, we move to on-chain fund platform's fundraising activity. Singapore-based on-chain fund protocol Solve Protocol raised $6 million in a funding round. Investors in the round included Laser Digital, a subsidiary of Japanese banking giant Nomura Securities. The capital will help the startup expand its team and continue working on the technological development of its platform. Other investors in the round included UOB Venture Management, Mirana Ventures, Emirates Consortium, Matrix Partners, Apollo Capital, Hash CIB, Geek Cartel, Bing Ventures and Buy Trade Labs. Solve offers decentralized liquidity infrastructure that allows organizations to raise money through the creation, usage and sale of financial products. The Solve process begins with an onboarding process for crypto-native market makers, venture capitalists and decentralized autonomous organizations interested in using the platform. Approved users can then create financial products that are wrapped in semi-fungible tokens. The SFT is distributed through the Solve platform or an 
underwriter in order to receive liquidity from interested buyers or investors. The user collect income and pay yields to the investors either over time or when the SFT is settled. Interesting stuff there, now is the time to enter the metaverse. Big brands are increasing their presence in this space. Our next deal update is from the metaverse segment. Passage, a Winchester, Virginia-based startup developing technologies to enable the metaverse, has raised $6 million in an initial coin offering led by San Francisco-based Akash Ventures, which considers itself the world's first decentralized peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for cloud compute. Other participants who bought the PASG coin included Cogitant Ventures, Witwit, Course One, Hypertrain Capital, Cosmos Station, and Druid Ventures. The metaverse, described as the way of the future, is a 3D virtual space powered by technologies such as virtual reality and augmented reality. It would enable interaction among human users as well as between humans and avatars. Passage operates in this space, helping organizations quickly add metaverse elements in their websites or even fully transform into metaverse systems. Its technology converts static pages into immersive, interactive places with 3D and other elements. Well, that's all in Deal Corner. For more such updates, log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off.